Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is one beautiful 1969 Camaro. There's 350 power under that hood. That cowl is looking sweet and I love the color. One of my favorite color blues. Matter of fact, my brand new car is just about that same color. Man, she's beautiful. We got great looking chrome up front here. Great looking grill. Just a beautiful job on the paint. Now the paint's got a, uh, just a slight metallic in it and they have laid it down slick as can be. As you see down the side, she's straight as an arrow. We've got the uh, great looking wheels on it with the uh, BFGs there with the TA radials. Looking beautiful, love the white stripe. And then the white interior with the white vinyl top, man. You wanna talk about gorgeous? Let me pop open this door and we'll take a nice close look. You can see that carpeting looks like it's brand new. All the um, vinyls looking good. The center console's looking great. The seat belts, we got seat belts in the front and the rear. Looks like there's three seat belts in the back. You can strap down three kids back there. Headliners looking good. The dash itself, some beautiful shape. The steering wheel looks good. It's got the gauges down there on the console looking good. Just everything about this car. You can see the finish and all the door jams also are nice and clean. That's probably one of the first things we look at on every car to check the quality. Anybody that spends the time to do a door jam like that, you know the rest of the car is done well. As you look down the side from the back, you can see the stance on the car, man. That is what a muscle car should look like right there. Got the back end jacked up. We got dual exhaust. We got great looking chrome on the back bumper. That paint is just popping. I tell you, I love this color. As you can see in the trunk, we got a spare tire in here. You can see all the finish work down in here is looking good. The lips on the deck lid are also looking good. You can see, look at this, even the latch was taken out when they did the restoration. A lot of guys just spray those things all blue. These guys knew what they were doing. Looks like they've got a, maybe a bare metal paint on there too, so you have to worry about that rusting. As you look down the passenger side, just like the driver's side, straight as can be, Body Man did a great job making this thing nice and straight. A lot of primer, a lot of blocking on this one. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this Camaro. <clears throat> so you know we did our homework before we bought it ourselves. The first thing that happens to every vehicle here at Vanguard is they go up on the left so you can check out the bottom side and then we can take our pictures, do our inspection, do our video so we can show you exactly what the car is going to look like when it hits your driveway. Now, if you go in the description, there's a link right there. It'll take you right to our website. You can check out about 100 pictures of this car and the rest of our inventory. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and hit the little bell button so we can send you a notification whenever we get a new car in. Alright, it is 69 Camaro time. You want to talk about a sweet car? This is one sweet little car right here. Rotisserie restored. Bottom side is just as beautiful as the top side. Running great, driving great, looking beautiful. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this car anywhere in the world. Just call Tom and he'll explain the whole process to you. Makes it really easy. 
He can also help you out with financing. You don't have to do a thing, but make that phone call to Tom. 248-974-9513. I mean, just as smooth. I mean, driving with one finger here, baby. She is a beauty. Now, we are very close to the airport here in Detroit. So if you need to fly in to see us, we'd love to have you. If you want to drive in, no problem either. Even if you want to come in on Saturday, we just ask that you give us a call, make an appointment. That way we can make sure we get your favorite car right up front. We do have a lot of cars in stock and we may have to move some around. As you can see down here on the dash, the tack is working, the speedo is working. All the controls look good. Now it does just have the AM radio in. So if you're a radio guy, probably want to take this to an audio shop, have them put one of those retro sounds in there. You can hook them up with your uh, Bluetooth or whatever. That way you can uh, hook them up on your um, telephone. A lot of guys do that. I don't mess around with that stuff. I'm much more into listening to what the car sounds like. All these guys are cranking their heads around, giving us a thumbs up on this beautiful car. Now, one thing that we do that nobody does to every car in inventory, at Vanguard, every car goes in the air so we can show you exactly what the bottom side looks like. The bottom side of the car is the most important. That is the foundation of the car, just like in your house. Very important to look at all the stuff. Now we're coming up on our main facility here at 15100 Keel Street. Don't forget about our warehouse that's about a mile from here. That's where we keep all the gems. We got our uh, record driver here backing out. So guys, right now we're going to put this baby up in the air so you can see exactly what the bottom side looks like. Okay guys, we got our 1969 small block Camaro up on the rack. So obviously first thing you're going to see is a brand new fuel tank, brand new straps, brand new insulator pads. Underneath that, uh, I can tell that it has had a floor pan, put, or like a trunk pan I should say, put in it. They did really nice work actually. They like a, It looked to me like an entire unit that they've all put in one big piece. And uh, of course, like, like I said, the workmanship looks to be pretty darn nice. Um, obviously a set of brand new shackles on it, brand new shackle bushings, no big surprise. Looks like, and you're going to see that moving forward on this car, that all the bushings look to be very, very recent. Um, so we do have like the isolator pads here on our uh, leaf springs. Leaf springs look like they're in really nice shape as well. All like the uh, clamps and everything look, look like they're in good shape. Uh, once again, the underside of this car is very, very pretty. I and mean, you can look up inside of here. All of our sheet metal work is really, really nice. Any sheet metal work that has been done. Once again, you can see part of that seam there where they uh, stitch this uh, trunk pan in there. Once again, very pretty nice workmanship. As far as the rear end goes, it's a uh, GM 12 bolt. I don't believe it to be the original one for the car. However, it is very period correct. It is a, of course, limited slip or posi. Um, it is uh, like 1968, 1969 model year. 355 to one gear ratio. And once again, it is posi. Drum brakes on either end of it, brand new shocks on it. Um, of course, brand new fuel and brake lines, brand new uh, exhaust system. And while I'm back here, um, the muffler that's on it is going to be like an original style muffler on it. This is just a straight up restoration. Uh, so it looks to be just like the original style of muffler. Parking brake, excuse me, parking brakes look like they are present and uh, it does feel as if they are functional. Uh, it looks like a brand new drive shaft custom made for this application. And the reason for that being is we're going to have a uh, 700R4 four speed automatic transmission. Now this originally would have been like a uh, I don't think these came with glides. I believe this would be like a turbo 350, if I'm not mistaken, from the factory if you were to get an automatic, um, possibly a glide. But uh, this here is a four-speed automatic with an overdrive in it, so you're going to get a little bit of uh, added drivability. And with the 355s, it should cruise really, really nicely. Um, of course, looking at the undercarriage, just continuing to look good up here. Like all of our sheet metal stampings are really nice. All of our seams in our metal are really well defined. Uh, same thing with the frame rails here. They're all in really good shape here. I don't see any nonsense going on here as far as like uh, denting and stuff like that from jacks. This brakes on the front of it. And uh, while I'm here at the back of the front suspension here, I can see every single component is, is obviously new and it's got all Moog parts in it, which means they spent the high dollars here. You can see it even like on a lot of the boots, uh, like the Moog stamp is in all this stuff. Brand new sway bar links, brand new springs, brand new shocks. 
I mean, overall, pretty darn nice job uh, doing the restoration on this one. They, they seem to really care, and they replaced everything, probably whether it needed it or not. Uh, even like the dust shields here, those look like they have a brand new nice coating on them. Same thing with like our uh, caliper brackets as well. All right, so for wheel and tire, like I said, straight up restoration. So we've got 225, 70 R14s, be of Goodrich radial TA. So a little bit better than like your uh, bias plies that it would have came with. And uh, like a Magnum 500 style uh, GM wheel on it. In the back, I believe it has the exact same wheel and tire combination with even the exact same size. 22570 R14 back here as well. Once again, drum in the rear, disc in the front. So that all being said, let's go take a look at the small block 350 under the hood. All right, guys, here it is, a 350 small block Chevrolet. Now, this one, uh, the suffix code and VIN stamp have been removed on this car, so there's no way to determine whether or not this is really the correct engine. However, uh, the casting date is like, if I'm not mistaken, January um, 17th, uh, 1969. The car was built February, um, I think, first week February 1969. So it is a very period correct engine for the car. However, there's no way to tell. There's no suffix code, nor is there no VIN. And of course, that's common to have that machined off when you rebuild an engine and you uh, mill the deck surface. So as far as this particular engine, it does have a four barrel on it. This is gonna be a Quadrajet four barrel. And it's actually, I run the numbers on the Quadrajet. It's actually a 1969 specific Quadrajet, correct for uh, non-California automatic applica or applications. So as far as the car's options go, we got power brakes on it. We have, looks to be like a correct, or like a correct vintage style uh, air conditioning system on there with the correct pump on it. We have power uh, steering on the car as well. Uh, clutch fan on it, shrouded, looks like it's in a pretty good shape here as well. Looking down here, I'm seeing all brand new lines on everything that could be, GM hoses, anything they could put it on. Looks like all the factory bracketry is in, uh, in place. That to me looks like a very fresh wiring harness. Uh, looks to me like darn, darn near all of the harnesses back there have been replaced. Now, one thing I do know is I actually have the, had the air cleaner off of this to run the carb numbers, and I saw back there this thing has a Petronix uh, ignition system conversion, which is also another very tasteful upgrade. Um, another tasteful upgrade, too, is this is just a battery topper. There is a modern battery underneath this, or just modern battery performance. Um, and outside of all of that stuff, once again, you can see the, uh, the engine bay looks to be detailed very, very nicely. Obviously, this car was blown apart to restore it properly. Um, and then, once again, they even put like the uh, insulation under the hood. Uh, all just kind of indications of you know a higher quality, a higher than normal quality restoration. And this one is just as how I'd like to see them. You're driving a 1969 Camaro. Very, very cool. Very period style restoration. So guys, that all being said, give Tom a call at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this thing in your driveway. See you in the next one.